is something about breaking up with Ranbir Kapoor that makes our Bollywood actresses start glowing. After Deepika Padukone, it's the turn of Katrina Kaif, and boy, she looks pretty. Pitur has released, and it's based on Charles Dickens' novel Great Expectations. Taking into account director Abhishek Kapoor's previous record of Kai Poche and Rock On, if not great, we can at least have decent enough expectations from this one. Hey now, you can definitely watch Fitur, but for that you need to pay heed to the following prescription: half a pill for patience before the interval, one full pill of patience after the interval, along with an anti-inflammatory for boredom and an anti-allergy so that you stop craving. Film starts off with great promise, and the ones responsible are the child actors who play the young Aditya Roy Kapoor and Katrina Kaif, and Kashmir. Add to that the cinematography of Ane Goswami, and you have these exuberant hues of the valley. उसके बाद बच्चे बड़े हो जाते हैं और फिल्म हाथ से निकल जाती है. The word fitur literally means obsession, and in this film, it somehow translates into Katrina Kaif and Aditya Roy Kapoor's obsession with gymming. Find this little bit of improvement in acting, but when you look at Tabu, you realize kitni mehnat karni hai. And when she looks into the camera with those devastatingly opaque eyes, you have no choice but to be impressed. Along with her, there's Rahul Bhatt, who is in a small role but is equally good. Amit Trivedi's music proves to be a perfect side dish. But raita to main dish mein phelta hai na. Katrina and Aditya in Delhi with that whole pyar takrar bit gets too boring. Plus, they've made Aditya into this shirtless painter. Insan painter dekhe, painting dekhe, too distracting. So I've decided to give Fitur 2.5 quints out of five. The only reason you would want to go watch it is because you're a Katrina and Aditya loyalist.